Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to another installment of the Naviate feature of the week series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Naviate Accelerate feature live selection. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll come over to Naviate Accelerate. And in the find slash select panel of the ribbon, we're going to use the live selection feature. This feature gives us a couple of different options to select objects within our project. So this is the dialog box we're going to see. Uh, we have two tabs here, the Elements in View tab and the Elements by Selection tab. Let's start with Elements in View. So that's going to give us this laundry list of all of the different objects available for us to select within our 3D view that we're working in now. And I actually have the ability to expand these to drill a little deeper into what objects are available to me in that view. So, for example, if I wanted to select all of the doors within the view, I could simply check that selection box and we'll notice that uh, our, our screen is now lit up. I have a bunch of doors here that are selected. A bunch of them appear to be constrained and locked to certain things. If I look just behind this, uh, just behind my dialog box here, you'll see the number of doors selected is 241, which are all the ones visible to me within this view. And again, I have the ability to expand this and drill down into the different types that I wanted to select. And if I have multiple types, uh, within the different doors, for example, I could even uh, isolate those, remove them from my selection, or maybe specifically select those. So if I uncheck this doors, and maybe I won't only want to grab the 68 inch by 84 inch, these three doors, I could select that, and they would be selected within my model. And you'll see again in the properties palette there that the selection has been updated. Uh, so we could quickly grab any of the elements. Uh, within our project from within the elements in view tab and drill down into different selection options as needed. Uh, we also have the ability to do elements by selection. So if I come over to the elements by selection tab, you'll notice by default, I have zero items selected. So what this particular tab does is allows me to select objects within uh, the model itself. And I can use the control key here. And I'm just going to grab these roof objects, for example, use it by using the control key. I'll select those three roof objects. And you notice, so this particular dialog box is actually a live dialog box, and it remains active even when you're working within your project, and it becomes opaque there, so you can still see beyond it and continue to work. But the opacity also is a bit of a reminder that uh, that is a live dialog box, and the dialog box is active since I didn't close it, so I still have this feature up and running. Uh, it just the opacity allows me to continue to work without being completely obstructed in my view. So I went ahead and select those roofs. If I come back to my dialog box here, You'll notice that I have the three roofs selected and I have the ability, just like uh, in the previous example, I have the ability to kind of expand that list to look at the other roof types. If I had different roof types, I would see those here. Uh, just another way to, to select objects. Uh, so this is the Naviate Live Selection feature. Uh, that is all I have for you guys today. Again, two tabs here, select elements from within your view and you can do a mass selection or if you have items selected, or if you want to select items and then kind of narrow down that selection, you could use elements by selection. That's all, all we have for you today on Naviate Accelerate's live selection tool. We'll see you again next time.